Hello and welcome to this video demonstration of Sitecore Print Experience Manager. In this video, I'll be demonstrating some of the multilingual capabilities of the product. So the scenario for this demonstration is using, once again, the Habitat Legal demo site and using Sitecore as the single source of the truth to update a partner profile document in InDesign using Print Experience Manager. So there are two elements to this task. One is to update the document to a newly created team member. The second is then to use some pre-translated content within Sitecore and update the document into Danish. I'll start first of all within the Sitecore content editor. So here I am now in the content editor of Sitecore. I'll just navigate down into the legal site and uh, navigate to the our team members section just to validate that the uh, team member Eduardo has been added uh, which I can just select that now and yes the content there is in English and if I move over to my language selector uh, I have a Danish version there which again I can validate and check we've got content there that's great so now everything has been set up for me ready to use in InDesign where I'll move on to next so I'm now in uh, Adobe InDesign and as a designer, my first task is to log into Sitecore. So I'm just going to expand out one of these uh, PXM panels here and then select log into Sitecore. Um, my username's already there, so add the password and the site has been selected and I'm now logged in. So once logged in, um, as you've seen in previous videos, I can access the content, but uh, for this, uh, task I need to access a PXM project. Now just as a reminder PXM projects are effectively uh, InDesign documents which are stored as content items within the CMS and this allows uh, collaboration between uh, multiple designers uh, and also uh, is a, a good central storage point for PXM projects. So I've loaded up my project now so this is the, the project over here in my uh, PXM libraries panel and I've uh, loaded it into my project panel over here on the right and now I just need to load this into Adobe InDesign. I'll just take a second while that comes up. So now I'm finished with this. So this is uh, the previously designed document. Uh, so this is uh, stored by default as, as Brenda's uh, profile. Uh, as you can see it's pulled in various elements uh, from her content item. Uh, so my first job really is to assign this content to uh, Eduardo. So I just need to navigate down back through the content tab uh, and there I can see the, uh, the content item for Eduardo, the one that I need. And uh, obviously the fields are down here at the bottom and I could drag and drop them and replace them uh, individually. But with PXM there's a, a simpler way. So all I need to do is grab the content item that I require and drag and drop that, drop that onto the page. And then it PXM then asks me, do I want to update and assign all the content and all the snippets to that content item? And of course I do, so I'll say OK to that. So very simply, I've just updated this whole document to reflect Eduardo's details. So now, how do I change this to Danish? Well, it's very simple. So from this flyout menu at the top, uh, I have an option to select language. From there, change from, from English to Danish, click OK, and then at the moment nothing's happened. So all I need to do to update the document is select uh, in the references tab the content item which is on in this document for Eduardo, and then hit the update button. And quite simply, that's just pulled in all of the Danish content because that's the language I'm working in currently, and replaced the content items uh, appropriately. So if there had been a, a different image uh, or other elements of the page which were specific to that language version, they would be reflected in the document. So now my final job as a designer is to check uh, visually that the page is good and then I can just export as a PDF uh, ready for the next step of the process.